Welcome to jobskillshare.org IT skills training platform. In this video, I am going to share a new feature. This is actually not a new feature, but we have introduced this main feature called roadmaps, which is basically a collection of courses for our members to have no issues when they're starting um, skills development in our platform. So usually a member will start courses with us and then everything will be in a map shape where you have a course and a lab and then everything is guided inside the course. So the instructor is basically giving instructions on how to use the lab, why do you need this lab, and that sort of things. So now we have actually added practice lab roadmaps. Now what is a practice lab roadmap and why do we need this? When we uh, introduced our full roadmap with video courses and lab, which is this is an example right here, and then there's a lab out here so that's great that's worked for a lot of our members and they are really happy with this the way we are doing this because it's like you're being guided when you're brand new to it and when you're watching a course somebody's telling you what to do now now of course when we give out our premium membership uh we have a very large access to the labs this means that we can uh, create a lot of different skills for different type of people and then some people are advanced when they uh, let's say landed a job and they're like okay I'm, I'm actually looking for directly server related skills i'm not trying to learn something because i don't want i don't have time and things like that or somebody they may have already landed a job in it or somebody they may just be too good with the video stuff and they just want to get into some super hands-on step-by-step -step technical stuff they, they don't want to waste time so this is why we have created practice lab roadmaps for that reason because it's just too many labs and of course it has its purpose and that's based on the requests that we are getting so what is this so right now you're going to see in your roadmaps a special type of roadmaps that's going to call practice labs roadmaps and it's just going to have labs it's not going to have video courses attached to it i'm going to demonstrate that in a second and basically that example is, you know, if you're learning about IT support skills, we're going to put a lab one, lab two, lab three. And of course, this is kind of like SME subject matter expert type of thing. Somebody who have experience will be able to put those labs in sequence. So then this person may have 15 years of experience and then they, they think this is the good way to make the, these different type of labs in one roadmap for you. So then you can easily understand the concept and exercise it in these labs. All right, now we are going to demonstrate the new roadmaps for the labs. So I assume that you have premium membership on Job Skillshare. If you don't, you can go to the membership and become a premium member to get access. So let's go to the portal. Now, once you get to the portal, you will click on roadmaps just like you were doing it before. So these are the roadmaps that I talked about before that if you see like a map where it says uh, modern IT support career roadmap, and that has like an image behind and um, that will have courses like a video courses so let me show it to you uh, this is the modern IT support career roadmap that all of our members that are new to IT they're using right now so when they come over here so you see it has a course on the left side and it has a lab on the right side it's like a nice way for someone to just get started okay this is my video course I need to finish it this is my lab I need to finish it but because I'm new, I'm going to have to follow videos inside this course. And a trainer basically gives you a lot of details, quizzes and things like that to make you ready for this career. So there's a lot of things going on, as you can see. So this is where like a course and lab solution works really nice. Now, the reason we had to create something different than this for people who are either already in IT or they're looking for something very quick hands-on and they just want to get into this hands-on learning step-by-step step from documentation they don't want to get into the course type of learning that's a solution for that type of member so let's go back to our roadmaps and now if you scroll down you're going to see more roadmaps and it's basically going to have something like practice lab or uh, it's going to say that practice only practice only roadmap so you can see these are very big uh, hands-on labs now it's not one lab remember it's a collection of labs somebody with a lot of experience have decided that we are gonna put this in a sequence so if you're brand new you can start from 
A to Z type of roadmap, or you can just jump into a lab that you like. So, of course, why we did this in the first place, if you go to the practice labs over here, all of these labs were in list, like say 160 labs, and every lab is a 40 hours, 20 hours. So a lot of people will, of course, get confused that, okay, that's too, too much access, but what do I do with this if I'm not uh, learning from course type of learning? And then I want to get this hands-on thing, um, uh, you know, from, from just hands-on, no video stuff. So this is like, let's say if you're an IT support professional who have already landed a job and you said that I want to enhance my skills. And one, I would definitely recommend if you're new, you should go back to the first roadmap because you still need to understand the concept and things like that from a trainer. If that's not the case and you you are very confident and you just want to get into the more hands-on part, like, you know, just hands-on, I would say, because that's also a hands-on course, but it's guided. So here, let's say you want to just get into things and you want to enhance your skills because you know what you're doing. You're going to come over here and you're going to click on start journey. So even here, if somebody start from just a lab, you see there's no course now and there's fundamental lab. So if you click on it, it's going to take you to the fundamental lab. It's that easy now. So you come over here, you see as a premium member, this is almost like a course, but there's no video. Everything is step by step in exercise format and you will start your lab learning by clicking on the launch button. So it's very easy now, you know, okay, this is my goal now, I'm gonna start this journey. I can share this on LinkedIn when you start this journey, let me start it right now. And just to show this to my managers, uh, my you know LinkedIn community or other professional communities that I can I can share this information now you see because I did uh, under this profile I did this lab 50% so it's already went to 50% and if I go back right here I can click on share and then I can share this uh, with a with a community let's say like a LinkedIn community or other communities or Twitter or things like that to to showcase my work and that is a modern way of you know letting people know what you're doing and things like that. So now you see that you can come to these labs and you can kind of like go over it step by step and you're not involved in the video type of learning. You're very much into just simple hands-on and that's what like mainly JSS is focused on a lot of hands-on skills and that's where we're making it even more easier for you to get in now. So that's for IT support. So how much is covered after this? You can do CompTIA A+. You're going to learn a lot from this. If you have already done our modern IT support training, probably this can also show your progress here. Then you get to more advanced labs like when MD100. Uh, so you're going to learn about WDS, server deployments, images, and things like that. And then after that, it gets a little modern type of desktop uh, training, which is right here, like MD101. You're going to learn about Azure Active Directory and things like that. And then it gets to more a little bit of networking side too, because a lot of people ask us, hey, you know, I, I'm an IT professional, but I still work on DHCP, DNS type of things. Is there a lab that I can do from entry level? So here, Network Plus is a good lab. And then some people also ask us, is there a Linux lab that we can do in IT support? Because I, I, I work on it in some areas. Um, that's not a common, but we put it there because that's like, you know, it's vendor neutral map and you can really, really utilize this, like just getting into learn about IT support skills. Now, keeping in mind, this is not the only labs that you can take. This is just our way of telling you that this is a map that you should follow if you want to get better and in IT and not get distracted with other labs at 168 labs and you should be focused. So if that's not the case and you know what you're doing, you have to go back to your practice labs and you can search any lab you like to under over 160 labs that we have and you can just pick any lab you want to. So now let's go back and see what, what other labs we have over here. So if you go back and you feel like, okay, you know what? I think I I really like this, the advanced stuff. I, I want to get into this hands-on, but advanced way. How do I do that? If you come down, there's a Windows Server skills. Now, this can get pretty advanced and it's not recommended for someone who's new. So this would be someone who would want to become a sysadmin and they want to learn about servers because uh, a lot of companies are hybrid. They're using servers very heavily, Windows servers. And sometimes you just need to know, um, you know, just not installing a server Active Directory, you need to know more than that. So even in here, we are going to start with something that's basics to us. So that's CompTIA Server Plus is a basic course in lab, and that's going to cover a lot of uh, servers, uh, database and things like that. And then it's going to move to more 
Windows Server Administration. Then it's going to be another administration concept on Windows 2019 Server. Then it's going to go into more Windows Server configuration and maintaining Active Directory stuff, certificate stuff, IIS. And then it gets to virtualization things in there, Hyper-V and System Center. And the database is very important for sysadmin. So this is, again, not just this is not the only available server related courses you have exchange you have sql more servers labs out there in your practice labs right here but again you should be focused then you can finish this and no one can complain about you not knowing uh, the technical on-premises skills on servers anymore what about cybersecurity? another hot one a lot of people uh, IT help this uh, individuals they want to move into more cybersecurity and a lot of people have this misconception that we don't teach cybersecurity but let me tell you our hands-on labs are one of the most powerful labs and the most most realistic labs you're gonna ever come across in most of these platforms so let's let's just let me just show it to you what this means if you come over here and you go all the way down I'm gonna show you cybersecurity practice uh, practice only roadmap now again we don't teach any video related content in cybersecurity we are working on that right now and if you come over here and you start this journey you are if you want to if you want to just present your skills out there that i know the hands-on and i think it cannot get better than this you have the cybersecurity fundamental course that's very a uh, nice way to get started with the fundamentals then of course you need to know linux to understand some of these uh, you know cybersecurity devices a lot of them uses linux so once you know these two you can then jump into the little bit of more uh, worldwide known type of certification training where CompTIA Security Plus and this is all hands-on by the way so you're gonna get two benefits one you're getting prepared for Security Plus at some certain level and then of course you're on hands-on then we have this brand new ethical hacking CH uh, you know uh, lab which is a huge lab and once you know all of this till security you of course you know the fundamentals at that point you have touched Linux you are, you're more like you're warmed up right now and then you can get into more of these technical labs like um, you know ethical hacking and then red and blue team type of things and then it gets to a uh, full sandbox lab with vulnerabilities so it is it's a massive massive hands-on labs right here and you can use utilize this to to uh, you know if you want to transition your career this would be the perfect way to get started and later on maybe if you need more video help you can buy some extra courses outside that are well known maybe kind of mix match it because this is kind of like your lab environment you can learn it from any other platform Form. if they have videos good videos out there you should utilize that all right let's talk about the last one and we have future ones coming too which is cloud related but then there's another big one a lot of people look for is networking skills so let's say what do we have in networking so if you go to the networking all the way to the bottom there's going to be one that says networking skills right here if you open that it's going to be all about networking right you want to uh, get started again with some basics like somebody uh, these labs have to break things down a little bit in a basic way so network plus is a great great new course with a little bit of cloud touching in there too and things like that then it's going to get into real cisco stuff this is all cisco devices let me open it just to show you uh, what this means so here you see networking concepts. So we'll start with that switching fundamentals, IP addressing, VLANs, uh, all that, you know, um, NATing, NTP, DHCP, applying security protocols. And it's, it's, it's a pretty big, big Cisco lab. And, and all of these labs comes with some powerful router switches and everything in here. So you can see these are all the things that you will be covering over here in these labs. Um, so these are real routers. I'm going to go ahead and click on open it. As you can see, all this N Edge and NY Edge and all NY WAN, NY Core, NY Access. Then you have this Windows Server in there. If you come down um, in these labs, there's a little bit of explanation of what you're going to cover. If you check next, there's a topology given to you. Let's open that in a big image. So the topology will look like this um, Cisco IPv phone. Uh, everything is, I mean, it's just like real stuff going on over here in these labs. And that's why I say that. If you're one of those type of people who is who is serious about just getting hands on and and getting out of this platform with this one year membership with some really solid, um, you know, hands on level skills, then this is it. This is what you need to follow right here. And after this, we are going to add cloud labs, which is which are, which is underway right now. So after a week or two, check out your lab roadmaps. You probably will see Azure and AWS in one uh, cloud skills lab which is going to hit the basics and of course that's also pretty powerful access if you have any question let us know but this is what we're doing for our members right now to make it easy for you to get started with the hands-on and be focused 2003 let's do it